Hello students, welcome to my channel. This video contains class 7 Mathematics Olympiad, previous year paper 2022, question paper set A. In this video, I have solved achiever section of this paper. Already the first part of this uh, paper has been uploaded in my channel. I have given the link in the description box. Please do watch. So in part 1, I have solved uh, everyday mathematics and mathematical reasoning. So I am just giving the link over here. Please do watch. Before going to the video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's move into the video now. The last section of your paper is achiever section. In this you will be having totally 5 questions. Each carry 3 marks. The questions will be in higher order thinking skill. So it will take much time uh, to solve to solve the these 5 questions. So I will be telling you the some tricks to how to uh, solve or how to attend these type of questions in a very uh, short span of time. Okay. Let's see the first question of your achiever section. Question number 46. The given bar graph shows the number of admissions taken by schools A and B in science stream from 2017 to 2021. Study the graph carefully and answer the following questions. Students, in these questions, we have two subdivisions that is A and B we have. So what is the first part you have to do in? Achiever section is first you have to read out that subdivisions. Okay, then choose yourself which questions will take very short time to answer or which question will take very short time to solve or to get the answer very fast. Okay, that we have to think. So first we'll read the uh, subdivision. The first one is find the average number of admissions taken by school A from year 2017 to 2021. Then B is what is the ratio of number of admissions taken by school A to that by school B in years 2018, 2019 and 2021. So comparing B option A will be very very easy at one right because we need to find just what is the average number of admission taken throughout that year so that is 5 years. So we all know what is the formula for average that is total number of admissions taken in each year divided by total number of years. So we have total number of years is 5. Right. So what is the total number of admissions taken from the year 17 to 21? So in 17 it is 40 and 18 also it is 40. Then here 19 is 45. Next year 20 is 35 and 21 is 30. So when you add all together you will be getting 190 divided by 5 which gives 38. So this is the average. So just move on to the option. Then check which option hold the right answer for the subdivision A. Yes it's option B and D hold the right answer which means option A and C both are wrong answer. No need to check this uh, part okay. So either B or D could be your correct answer. Then we will check. Then we will solve the uh, second subdivision. So in this we have to find out what is the ratio of number of admission. So ratio 2018, 2019, 2021, school A, school B. So in 2018, in school A, 40 school b 35 school b 2018 no both are same only 2018 40 40 then 2019 45 then here i think 35 okay then 2021 both are 30 so here when you add 115, here 5, 9 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. Okay, 1 not 115, 1 not 5. So the ratio is 115 is to 1 not 5. So just write down the ratios in the form of fraction. Then what is the answer here? 23 divided by 21. So finally, which uh, option holds the right answer? It's, it's option D only the right answer for this question hence option d is a correct one question number 47 read the given statement carefully and select the correct option statement 1 and statement 2 see see the option here 
both statement one and two are true statement one and two are false one is true two is false one is false two is true so what we have to do means in this type of question you should solve both the statement then only you will get the answer you cannot skip any of this okay so what is the first statement they have given you some expression algebraic expression then the value of 3m is 5 so see listen read the question carefully if some expression is given then the value of 3m is 5 means while solving you will be getting the value of 3m if the answer is 5 means then the statement 1 is true if you are not getting the value 3m is 3 if you are not getting the value as 5 then the statement 1 is false so for this you should solve and you can check so there is no way okay you cannot neglect any of the uh, sub questions okay so 6 by 5 m plus 1 so first we'll solve so what we do we'll we'll keep all the variables uh, on one side like this so minus 2 will go this opposite side so it become positive so here a fraction is there so we have to take lcm so lcm means you have to keep the denominator same so 5 is multiplied with the 3m you will be getting 15m minus 6m whole divided by 5 equals 3 so 15 minus 6 is it's 9m divided by 5 is equal to 3 so 9m is equal to 15 okay 9m is equal to 15 so what we do means m is equal to 15 by 9 what is the simplest form that is 5 by 3 so m is equal to 5 by 3 whereas 3m is equal to 5 so hence the statement 1 is true here okay then we'll solve the statement 2 a number m is a number m is 5 less than 3 times of the number n if the value of m is 49 then the value of n is 16 see here if the value of m is 59 they have given you the value of 59 but we have to find out whether the value of n is 16 or not okay so here first we have to write the equation a number m is 5 less than 3 times of the number n a number m is 5 less than 3 times of the number n means first you have to write 3n then 5 less than means 3n minus 5 okay then they have given you the value of m okay so it is given that it is given that m is equal to 49 so now you will substitute the value here in the place of m so that you will get the value of m so 49 equal to 3n minus 5 this is an equation so now we have to solve just transpose this 5 to the opposite side minus 5 becomes plus 5 when you transpose to the other side so 49 plus 5 is equal to 39 then 54 is equal to 3n then n is equal to 54 divided by divided by 3 yes i think uh, you will be getting n is equal to 80 okay so the value of n is so when the value of if when the value of m is 49 then the value of n is equal to 18 here it is given as n is 16 so statement 2 is false here okay so which is your answer yes both statement sorry Statement 1 is true and statement 2 is false. Hence, option C is the right answer. Question number 48. Match the following and select the correct option. So, in column 1, some expressions are given. Okay, in column 2, their corresponding answers is given. So, first, what you have to do means just read out the question and find out which one is very easier to answer. Okay, so comparing P, P, Q and R, I think R is the very easiest one. Right, question R, right. So, let's solve the question R now. See, whichever is easier for you that you can choose yourself, okay? So, for me, I think uh, this R is very, uh, very uh, easy to solve and it will take less time to find out the answer. So, the question is minus 1 whole to the power 4 minus and minus 1 whole to the power 5. So, minus 1 whole to the power means, so this minus 1 is multiplied by 4 times by itself. So, minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 so finally the answer is positive right plus 1 then again here minus 1 whole to the power 5 is again minus 1 only 
so you have to check the power if the power is even the answer will be in positive if the power is in negative the answer will be in negative only so 1 minus bracket minus 1 how to solve so this bracket indicates multiplication so read yourself minus into minus so minus into minus is plus so 1 plus 1 is 2 so just move on to the column 2 see here 2 to the power 0 into 2 to the power 1 so anything to the power 0 is 1 then 2 to the power 1 is 2 so answer is 2 so for r it's matched with uh, with the option 2 in column 2 okay so what you have to do means just move on to the option which uh, option hold the right answer for r here 1 here 3 here 2 here 3 so we need we need r should match with the 2 right so option c only holding the right answer option c only holding the right option then rest of the option all options are wrong because in this r is the answer for r is here wrong okay so option c only holding the correct answer for r which means of a which means the remaining options which is left no a b and d everything all the three are the wrong answer so finally your answer will be option c so without solving p and q you can find your answer so within 30 seconds or within a one minute you can find the answer for this question so this three mark question okay so this is the way you have to solve if you start solving p q and r it will take much time so this is this is this is the way you have to solve in achiever section okay so choose the question wisely and solve it then anyhow we'll check the remaining part what is uh, what is q here we'll find out here what is q 5 square into 35 square 5 square into 35 square into 9 to the power 0 49 in into 125 into 45 so 5 square see first you have to um, make all the base as prime numbers okay so you have to write all the uh, all the numbers in exponential form so 5 square so 35 square can be written as 7 square into 5 square because 7 5 are 35 now the 9 to the power 0 is anything to the power 0 is 1 so we'll write here 1 then 49 can be written as 7 square, 125 can be written as 5 cube, then 45 can be written as 5 into 3 square. Correct. So what we do means this 7 square, this 7 square would cancel. Then we'll apply the product rule. So 5 square into 5 square, that is 5, 2 plus 2, 5 to the power 2 plus 2. Here we have 5 here 1 no so here 3 plus 1 apply the product rule into 3 square so 5 to the power 4 divided by 5 to the power 4 into 3 square so 5 to the power 4 5, 5 to the power 4 it cancel so your answer is 1 by 3 square so for q the right answer is it's option 1 here so just move on to the option see here which holds the right answer here yes option c again holding the right answer and r also we have already found out right so then we'll find out the answer for the subdivision p so next question uh, p so the question is 16 to the power 2x plus 3 by 2 which equals 8 to the power 2x by 3 plus 19 by 6. Here we have to find what is the value of x, right? Then we have to solve. Now, you have to write the base in exponential form. So, 16 can be written as, what is the prime factorization of 16? Right, that is 2 to the power 4, correct? So, here we will write 2 to the power 4 
already we have 2x plus 3 by 2 in, in powers right so write down then 8 is written as 2 cube 2 cube then already we have powers 2x by 3 plus 19 by x so what we do means we will multiply the 4 we will mu multiply this power with the, with this number and 3 is multiplied with this number so just remove the bracket first so 4 multiplied with the 2x is 8x then 4 multiplied with the 3 by 2 so 4 into 3 by 2 okay 4 into 3 by 2 you will be getting 6 so 8x plus 6 which equals 2 to the power then see here 3 into 2x by 3 so what you will get 3 3 get cancelled now so answer is 2 to the power x plus then 3 into 19 by 6 so you will be getting 19 by 2 so at this point what you have to do means when the both the base are same on both the left and right hand side now you take down the powers out that is 8x plus c 6 is equal to 2x plus 19 by 2 because we need to find what is the value of x then transpose the variable to one, th one side so 8x minus 2x and transpose that uh, coefficient constant to the sorry constant to the opposite side so 6 plus 6 transpose to the other side so just change the sign it becomes minus 6 so 8x minus 2x 6 6, 6. here we have to do the LCM concept so 19 minus 12 divided by 2 because we have to make the denominators common so 6 is multiplied with 2 so 6x equal to 19 minus 12 is 7 7 by 2 therefore x is equal to 7 by 12 okay so when you transpose this coefficient 6 to the opposite side it will come in the denominator so x is equal to 7 by 2 here we have 7 by 2 square into 3 so 12 can be written like this 12 means what is the prime factorization of 12 yes 4 3s are 12 again 4 can be written as 2 square so 2 square into 3 so the answer for p is it's 3 in column 2 see here option 3 c again hold the right answer for this question so finally option c is the right answer question number 49 read the given statement carefully and state t for true and f for false so see here uh, in this again we have three subdivision so just read out the question carefully and see which question is very easy to answer that question you choose so the first one is first question is in a shop there are 1500 oranges if 45 percentage of the oranges are rotten then the number of rotten oranges is 675 in a school if 35 percentage of the students are girls and 260 students are boys then number of girls in the school is 150 then third one is 80 percentage of 5 is 4 so which is very easy to answer yes obviously the third one 80 percentage of 5 so 80 percentage can be write, uh, written as 80 by 100 into 5 so we have to check whether 80 percentage of 5 is 4 or not so yes so within 15 seconds nearly or by seeing itself we can say the answer yes op uh, option uh, subdivision 3 is true but three options hold the right answer so then what we have to do we must try some other question at least uh, you can try one or two so which is uh, easy for you that you choose i think comparing two i can find easily one okay because it will take some a little time comparing one this is very simple uh, there are 1500 oranges 45 percentage oranges are rotten then the number of rotten oranges is 675 or not that we have to find so very simple 45 percentage 45 percentage of 1500 oranges 675 are not because they have asked you to find what is a rotten rotten egg only right so 45 by 100 into 1500 very simple so 45 into 15 so what is 45 into 15 yes 675 so statement 1 is true so just go which option hold the right answer for statement 2 see and i think i forgot to tell you one thing here 
option a is wrong because uh, option uh, a holds the wrong answer for the third subdivision right so which means we have only three option among this which option holding the right answer for the first one it's obviously obviously see here b holds right answer here b holds false false so c and d are wrong finally b only the correct answer for this question so without solving the second part we can able to find the answer for our question right so directly you can straight away mark your answer as b without solving the second part so anyhow we'll check the we'll find out the answer for second part in the school 35 percentage of students are girls and 260 students are boys the number of girls in the school is 150 or not so then then number of girls in the school is 150 is the statement which you have which you have to find whether the statement is true or not so 35 percentage of students are girls means obviously 65 percentage of uh, students students are boys already they have given that uh, uh, already they have given you the value of students how many students are there 260 so this 65 percentage of total students so let me take the total student as x the 65 percentage of total students must be equal to 260 okay then we'll find out what is the total number of students so 65 by 100 into x which is equal to 260 so x is equal to 260 into 100 divided by 65 so if the fraction is moving on to transpose to opposite side it will take reciprocal right so 260 so 100 100 means it will go 20 times in 5 table this will go in 13 times in 5 table again 260 will go for 220 times in 13 table so finally x is equal to 400 so 400 is nothing but total number of students in the school so the question is number of girls is 150 or not how to find we have to subtract the total number of students and the total number of boys so, so 400 minus 260 is 140 140 not 150 right so statement 2 is false here so which answer we have already found out yes it's option b only we have found out right see here false so finally option b is the right answer question number 50 answer the following question and select the correct option so again in this question we have two subdivision okay so first read out the questions a wire of length 352 centimeter is bent to form a circle what is the area of the circle formed and question b is a parallelogram pqrs has two sides pq and qr are 14 centimeter and 8 centimeter if the height corresponding to pq is 4 centimeter then find the height corresponding to qr so whichever is easy for you just choose a question and do it yourself okay so let's start with the first question i think a would be the easier one a wire of length 32 centimeter okay so wire of length 352 centimeter is bent to form a circle so this bean it's made into a uh, made into a circle so what is the area of the circle formed so we need to find what is the area of the circle so here we have so the length of the uh, length of the wire becomes the circumference of a circle okay so the length of the wire becomes the circumference of a circle see here so this uh, this 350 centimeter uh, the length becomes the circumference of a circle but we need to find what is area of the circle so for this uh, we will use a circumference formula so what is circumference of a circle so circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r so already it is given circumference is 352 so 2 pi r is we don't know what is radius right so 2 into 22 by 7 into r so what is r here just transpose all the co all the constant to the opposite side so r 352 into 7 by 2 into 22 see this numerator 
when you transpose this numerator to the opposite side it will come in the denominator when it is in multiplication okay so 7 it is in denominator so if you transpose to the opposite side it becomes uh, the numerator in multiplication so now cancel so most probably uh, we have a uh, we have a uh, the pi value is 22 now so most probably all the numbers which are uh, given for area or circumference whatever it is it will be 11 table most probably it will go in 11 table so we'll try in 11 table directly so 33 22 means 2 times 32 times it will go again it will go for 2 times again 32 will go for 16 times and we'll cancel this 16 with the 2 for 8 times so finally we'll be getting 56 centimeter that is radius radius so what is what is the question is asked we have to find what is area of the circle we all know what is pi r square we have the formula is pi r square so 22 by 7 into r square is 56 into 56 so do the simplification 8 so 22 into 8 into 56 so when you multiply all these numbers you will be getting 9856 centimeter square so just move into move on to the option see here only option d hold the right answer for the for the question a subdivision a so the remaining option is all are wrong so which means directly you can mark your answer option d is the correct answer without solving the second part no need to solve the second part during your exam if you are very confident with your answer okay so anyhow we'll solve the remaining part also so what is the second part a parallelogram pqrs has two sides pq and r so first we'll draw the parallelogram p q or yes so pq is 14 centimeter so in parallelogram the property is opposite sides are equal no 14 then qr is 8 centimeter here also 8 okay then if the height corresponding to pq is 4 so height corresponding to pq means we can draw from here this is height the measurement is we have to find what is the uh, height corresponding to qr so qr means you draw like this we have to find out so let's name it this is x and this is y correct so what is the formula for area of parallelogram area of parallelogram is base into height so first we'll find out what is the area of parallelogram so area of parallelogram is this is base we'll take pq as base and yes x as a height okay so pq is 14 yes x is its 4 so 14 fours are 96 centimeter square so now we know the area so that we can easily find out what is the height of this uh, which, uh, height which is corresponding to QR. Again we are going to use the same formula area of parallelogram here okay. So area of parallelo area of parallelogram again the same formula B into H in this uh, at this point we know we knew it now. So rightly we write down the area of parallelogram here then base here the base is 8 but we don't know the height correct so now transpose this 8 to the opposite side which comes in the denominator 96 by 8 equals h okay so how many times it will go yes it will go for So 14 into 4 is 16, 56 centimeter square. So the area of this parallelogram is 56 centimeter square. Now we'll find out what is the height corresponding to the side QR. So again we are going to use the same formula area of parallelogram. 
we'll use area of parallelogram base into height and we knew it no that area of parallelogram is 56 centimeter square which equals base is 8 and we have to find out what is h so just transpose 8 to the opposite side it will come in the denominator which equals height so how many times 7 so 7 centimeter height is 7 centimeter so already we have found out the answer t is our right answer no so here b is also holding b is also correct because finally d holding the right answer for both the question hence t is your answer hope you all like this video thanks for watching